What is up everyone, it's Sam from 64 Wheels back with what I think is a YouTube exclusive. I don't think anyone else has reviewed this yet. This is a brand new, I just got this in today. This is not available in stores yet. Supposedly October 1st is when you're gonna be able to buy this in the stores. But this is the brand new Hot Wheels Spy, oh, I'm so excited I can't even keep it straight. Fast and Furious Spy Racer Spy Command Hauler. This thing is so cool. I've been checking like the shipping tracking information every day to see when I was gonna get this. I'm so excited. This is Hot Wheels first. Fast and the Furious playset of any type, um, if you don't count like the diorama pack. Um, it's pretty big, it's pretty large. Like here, obviously you can see the Ion Motors Thresher. It's pretty large. Um, it has great graphics on the box. I think this is an international box because it has all the different languages, um, which might be why the seller who had it had it first because um, it definitely does look international. Um, you can see all the awesome, like I'm ready to bust this out and see what it does. Because um, it has a ton of features, it's got great Spy Racers graphics on it. Um, this line just keeps expanding. This is coming out and then a, a one or two car set, drag race set, um, is coming out as well. I think that comes out October 1st, but I'm super pumped to, to bust into this, so let's go ahead and do it. I already love like the graphics on it and stuff. So. This is one of the newer boxes that has the like the press to open, um, but it does have tape on it as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut the tape. Need to cut it. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. So there's that. Okay. So that was a that was like the worst packaging to open up. So basically, I just got the truck out or the command center, whatever you want to call it, um, the command hauler. So I got it out, and it also had the little sticker. Um, pack that came with it. So I went ahead and put the stickers on so it would be complete when we looked at it. So this is a pretty large vehicle. As you can see, it comes with the, the Thresher. Um, and there it is. So it's huge. It's, it really is like the mammoth car from Speed Racer. It is pretty ginormous. So um, it does roll, which is pretty nice. And it comes with stickers already on it, which is nice because this sticker would probably be a pain to put on because it's pretty large and it's like Got a couple like corners and stuff. So um, we'll go over some of the details and the, the features of it. So the first thing, as you can see, it's just like a semi truck looking thing from the future. Um, but it does have a unique front area right there and you can kind of see light through it. And then I'll show you that when I open it. Um, but the back has a little pull down ramp. I'll make sure whoop, I got it, can see it. Um, so, you know, you can drive the car up in it or whatever. Um, so it does have like, Whoop, there it goes. So that's kind of cool. And it, it does on the box say that there's storage area in here. So there is room for storage. Um, it's kind of hard to see, but I'll open it up here in a minute. So there are two switches on the outside. One right here, which opens the back, and then one right here, which releases the, the pop-down gun. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Boom, so there they are. The two machine guns off the side, pretty cool. And then actually, I just was like, closing them because I couldn't figure it out, but if you pull the switch back, it actually closes them too. So that's kind of cool. Um, the second, or th actually third thing on here is this panel right here. Um, it is a manual motion, but it presses down, <coughs> excuse me, it presses down and, and shows this um, kind of like tret area, and then a car fits in there and it kind of spins Kind, kinds of spins around um, with like the machine gun and stuff. So I thought that was kind of cool. And then just to put this piece back away, you just flip it back there and it goes down. So that's kind of cool. So the big action is obviously this one. So you press this, it opens the side and they're, they're a little tight, but I rather them be tight than flop open um, because a lot of times just simple button actions get loose and they're like, oh, all wiggly. But this one, as you can see, is pretty tight. So that'll, that'll make for a lot of time of play where it's actually like be able to fold down. So um, it's a pretty big like command center, or whatever. It has a lot of a lot of play area um, and we'll kind of go through them and see what each of them are. So first we'll actually look at the main, the center part. Um, so like I said, it's got a ramp, you can drive up it. It's got room for parking. This thing probably holds, I'd say a dozen cars if you're playing with it. Like you can put a car here, you can put a car here, here, blah, 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 everywhere. So it holds a bunch. So this one, um, you can actually just drive the car up. It goes on this little elevator and it does have a cool like Tony's Dino Tech Center. Um, let me see if I can, I'm gonna, I'm gonna move the camera around a little bit for this one. So 
that's actually one of the stickers you apply yourself and it has like an ion thresher there and it's showing like like dyno numbers and stuff and like alignment so i thought that was kind of cool um so then this raises up it's a like a manual elevator so it raises up and then you this is also one of the stickers you have to put on um basically that's how you get on there is you lift that up and then you know you drive onto it Boop, like that so i thought that was kind of cool um and then while this is up is actually this is meant for you to drive through it's like a i don't know what they call it, like a like a tunnel but you push the car through and it pops out the front which is kind of sweet because it's like attack mode it's like that whatever fast six or seven where the charger comes out of the front of the plane like that's what it reminds me of so if i go like that you can clearly see that it's open all the way open so it is a pretty steep ramp but it makes for some cool like shooting action out of it i like them open so um so that's the main the main function of this through the center um and then we'll go to this side and this is two different things i'm trying to make sure i can show it to you correctly um this one has like a it's just like a manual car lift so you know you kind of put the car up on there you can fold it down this way to try to like drive the car up on it i guess but there's not really a good way to do it so then it like has a stand which i it's kind of cool and then if you look a little bit this way it has a gas pump that are like it's kind of like a diagnostic center it has like a plug and uh, this i wouldn't call this a gas i would definitely call it a plug um so it kind of you know you can diagnose the car or fix it or do whatever there's also like i would say another parking space for a car right here um definitely one right here so there's definitely there's plenty of parking and room for play so um for this one i'm gonna get the i'm gonna say it wrong Hasanta auto Asanta auto um which is Layla's car. And if you can see, this little portion moves right here. It doesn't spin, it's in place obviously because that's a screw. But I'm gonna try to get the, show you the decal on it. It actually has her car on it and it says Layla's Weapons Bay and then it has like the little graphic of her car like, hang on, let me see if I can pull it down if it'll shoot a little better. Oh, come on. A little bit. So it's got the, the actual graphic of the car and it shows like different parts of the car being circled. So I thought that was cool that they actually like, they didn't use just any generic um, like car graphic. They used the cars from the show. So there's that one. It kind of sits up there and then it gets like worked on or whatever, you know, weapons refilled, I don't know. So that's that side. Um, and then this side, which is, has some really nice like Tron looking graphics over here, which these were put on. Everything was put like this. Th there was very few decals you put on. You put on this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one over here. And that's it. The rest of them were put on for you, which I appreciate because some of those, like, this would be a terror to try to get on right now. So um, the last thing of the truck is basically one of Hot Wheels standard car launchers. So you bring this back, you, like, put it up a little bit, press the button, and it launches the car. So I tried it. It does have a little track attachment, so you can extend it to put a, like a, to build a track on there. Um, and it is a three or four speed, three speed puller. So it's got three slots, one, two, three, um, to, so you can shoot the car out at different speeds so it doesn't have to be like full power every time. So um, I, I really like this. I paid close to $30 for it off Entertainment Earth, the website. Um, because when I ordered this, it was not available in stores, and I don't think it's going to be... Uh, I'm hearing different reports I put on Instagram tonight. Some people are finding them in stores, some people aren't. So it might be a hit or miss kind of thing, but I'm really pumped to get this because uh, this is a set I really wanted to get. So um, there, like, you know, if you get your cars out, there is a ton of room to play on this. Um, I'm really excited about this because this is the first um fast and furious playset really we've gotten from hot wheels they're the mattel brand the one like 55th scale or whatever they came out with a couple play sets like the train crossing with the charger and the supra the ice charger um like going across the ice or whatever and they had the daytona going across the freeway like that was awesome I would love to see those in like Hot Wheels versions with actual tracks. And then we're also getting the drag racing set. Um, it's like a knockout drag that goes into a Y and then bursts apart and like the winner, you know, makes it through or whatever. So overall, this is a pretty solid play set. It's, it's good size. It has a lot of activities. It hooks to a track. It has an exit over here. A um, lot, a lot of operate or a uh, lot of options to play on this. So 
I'm, I'm pretty excited about this. I'm, I got to take a few photos of it and post it over on Lamely Group and, and kind of share what it is in photos is even though it's hard to me i think this stuff shows better in video because you get to like see the action of stuff where in photos it's a little harder to share so um again this is sam from 64 wheels and this has been the hot wheels i'm going to say make sure i get it all right hot wheels fast and the furious spy racer spy command hauler this set is coming to stores basically right now be look on the lookout for it it's going to be in between, I think it's $19.99 to $24.99. I actually want to lean towards a cheaper price for some reason. Um, but if you go to Target online right now or Walmart, you should be able to order it. You just might not be able to pick it up right away because I'm not sure if it's in every store. Um, but I will put the affiliate links down below um, in the comments just in case you want to pick one up because these are pretty cool. And because I'm collecting all the Fast and Furious stuff, I definitely had to have this as part of my completest thing. And then I'll pick up the drag racing set when I find it uh, locally and then do a video on that too. So let me know what you think of this in the comments. Um, if you're going to pick it up, if you like Spy Racers, if you're done with Fast and the Furious, or, or if you buy play sets or not, because I really like this this is cool i'm excited like almost i'm about to buy one of these for my nephew because it's so cool so um again sam 64 wheels on instagram um like and subscribe i'll have a lot more videos coming and then um tell me in the comments what you think about this set or if you're going to get one um and i'll see you in the next one thanks guys